All right, welcome back, guys. We're playing some more Oblivion today. Uh, all right, we just did. Let's check our quest log. Um, we need to go back to Imperial City. Got to do the Paranoia quest again. Oops. Forgot to save last night, so we gotta give her the the stone again. We got the uh, stone in the pale pass for this lady. Let's go turn it in. I have you recovered the Hello. stone? Yes, I have. I never thought it possible. Congratulations. I this it's. Can I buy a house in town? It's a matter of trust. And I don't trust you enough yet. I just went across the world to get you this artifact. You don't trust me enough yet? What? Heard any good rumors lately? Melona Umbernox is better off without that irresponsible husband of hers. The most honorable thing he ever did was to disappear and leave her alone. Wait, who? What? Tell me about Chancellor Akato. He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. Tell me about the Madstone. The Madstone is finally mine. It's the pinnacle of my collection. Many thanks to you again. Oh, you're welcome. Don't worry. Uh, Pale Pass? With the information you have given me about Pale Pass, it could take scholars many years to amend the history books. What can you tell me about Bruma? Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. Uh, goodbye. May luck be always on. Good to see you. Yes? She doesn't want to give me a house in town yet. Fine. May luck be always on your side. I've Hello. never seen my lady so happy. You've done well. <laughs> well, thank you. Any good rumors? I overheard that the vampire hunter who was in town was a fake. Yep. It was apparently a ruse to get his hands on Braden's key to a treasure chest. Goodbye. Safe journey, my lord. My lord. My lord. Dead nice. Wonder if Wabajack has a Morwen mod pack as well. I think so. Just go on the uh, Wabajack website, and they should have. They have a list of all the games they have mod packs for. And you can see if there's a Morwen one. That one's quite a bit older, so. But there should be one. We need to go back to the Imperial City. Also. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit because enemies are very damage spongy. Oh, I I still have way too much stuff equipped. I need to. I need my uh, ease burden spell. Cause I've been cucumbered. All right, let's go sell all of this plethora of stuff I have in my inventory. And I need to rest as well. Try swimming in steel armor. You actually can in this game because, yeah. Nord winds. I sometimes get the Nord winds when I have too much cheese. All right. Hello. It's my pleasure. Please continue. I would like to uh, persuade you first. Certainly. Never mind. Um, and I have a look sale. at my wares. All right, how about just lesser staff of the grave? Worth a bit of gold. Elvin Claymore is worth a bit. Wait a minute. That Elvin Claymore is worth 12. I'm going to get rid of 
for the silver lost sword. got a great sword. deal there. Thank you. We use a fire resistance light armor. Don't need it, so get rid of that. Alien coins. La Topaz. Silver nugget. An excellent bargain. Thank you. And do you have repair hammers? Yes, you do. I love you now. You're my favorite. Ooh, that's some nice heavy armor. Endurance, strength, resist normal weapons. Very expensive, though. Come back and see me again. I won't. Take care. Actually, I will. I will a lot. <laughs> Sell the patch. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you sell the patch or if it's even sellable. Okay, make a backup save. And let's go into... Oh! The Mage's Guild to take a nap. Actually, Fighter's Guild. What's the story behind this mod pack? It's just Vanilla Plus. They want to take the game and make it uh, better vanilla experience I need a place to sleep one hour aha endurance five intelligence three strength yes I definitely want that strength Feels good, man. Yeah, good five endurance. We're almost max on endurance. Actually, we're maxed with our uh, buffs. I think they can only go up to 100. UI looks way more generic than the original game. Rip. Um, go back and look at the original um, massive UI. And then... Because our, our memories of stuff is always way better than it actually was. Some things have not aged very well in this game. One of them is the UI. Because the UI was designed for Xbox 360. So everything is huge. You can only see a couple of things at once. It uh, hasn't aged well at all, especially for 4K monitors with a UI that was designed around 640p. So it was like... So the, the UI there. mod is uh, tries to look as close to the original as possible, but it looks, makes it much more readable and usable on high-res monitors. Um, hello. Go ahead, please. I'll pay you to train me. Good that you want to get better. No, not not blade. You need armor. Go ahead, please. You train I can me. Show you some new things. Heavy armor. Character, not can I help you train any higher? Fine. Farewell. Um. Hello. Uh, we have the mod installed onto Northern UI to make it look as close to Oblivion as possible. The default is much more look looks more like Skyrim. Uh, the mod pack tries to look as close to vanilla as it can with the mods available. You know, it's not perfect, but it does what it can. I think the UI they did is a very good job, though. It's kind of like a hybrid of Skyrim's UI with uh, Oblivion. I think it looks nice, especially being like much more readable on a HD screen. Let's go in the basement. Wait a minute. The basement, I think it has the shirtless orc man. Or there might be a different dungeon. No. One of these dungeons has a really sweaty like guy that trains him shirtless in the basement all the time. Looks like it's not this one though. Very muscular Breton. Might be an orc, I can't remember. It's been too long. Our mod list is on our Twitch channel. If you go to our Twitch channel and type exclamation point mods, it'll post the link for you. Uh, I can't do it on TikTok chats. Can't run bots and stuff like that. 
I don't know how Greetings. links work in TikTok chats. Um, do any of you guys have a quest for me? Probably not. What can I? Any good rumors? Bump Gragash is very skilled in heavy armor use. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Farewell. Goodbye. Hi. Go ahead, please. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't see a quest giver here. Maybe Bruma doesn't have a fighter's go quest or not yet. I don't see anybody. Hi there. Why only 16 gigs of RAM? Um, because I'm not doing video editing. I don't need 32 gigs. Most, almost no game will ever use 16 gigs of RAM. <laughs> That's a lot of goddamn RAM. Hey. Um. Good to see. If you're doing like video processing or massive files in like Adobe programs, you need more. But for just gaming, 16 is more than enough. And if I ever need more, and if I ever need more, you just uh, plug a couple sticks in there. Take care. It's like installing RAM is the easiest thing in the world. What's happening? I but I've never had a single issue with uh, having DDR5, 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM. Doesn't Diablo 4 4K 60 require 32? Yes. I played on this computer just fine with all the settings max. And I've seen what you. Actually, uh, let's see. Those might be outdated stats, actually. I can't remember last time I looked at. Because I haven't updated that command in forever. Oh, we have 32 gigs in this computer. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, that's a, that, that command... You're talking about Moobot. That's that's outdated. I don't think I've updated that command in probably two years. <laughs> Let's see. PC. There we go. <laughs> Boop. All right. What a liar! I know. God, this is How a are liar. You? Supposed to be the holy righteous paladin. Uh, let's see. You're a general vendor. You might have some repair hammers. See what we can find here. Uh, yeah. What can I do for you? Your eyes. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Ma'am, you don't sell anything. Um, I will sell you a good random. price for a good customer. Thank you for your business. You just buy stuff, nothing else. What can I interest you in? Go ahead. See if we can raise up your. Ma'am, could you stop staring at me with that creep stare? Don't wait. That's just not fun. I salute. That's enough. I don't like what. You think that's funny? You've got a. My life is drab and wretched. Sorry, I don't. Don't wait. You've got a. Gracious, what a hero! You're good. Have Thank a look you. around. You won't. Well, I will use this opportunity to sell random things to you, though, since you have. You'll buy everything. That seems. It's weird that you don't sell anything, though.
Uh, Ring of Omnipotence, Fortified d Speed, Strength, Willpower. Ring's not that great, honestly. What vendor in this game has the highest max sell price? I can't remember who it is. Resist Magic is really nice. Resist Frost. Fire Shield. That's a fair deal. It is a fair deal. I'll sell these potions to you. Okay, sell all of these. I you got a great you drive. Uh, we won't be able to defeat Umbra for quite some time. She's she's tough. You drive. Fine. I'm ex Cure poison. Potion of respite. Durance. No, keep the magic of potion. Sword of willpower. I'll keep the sorcery potions. You can have this disgusting summon skeletons thing. Um, got a lot of soul gems I need to fill up. It's kind of creepy when I'm trying to sell stuff and I have to see this just staring at me. Blinking once in a while. Are you done yet? Are you done? I'm, I'm just standing here waiting on you. Will you please finish? I will sell that. It's not that great. Thank you for your patronage. No, thank you. Jeez. Only quality goods for sale here. What? Goodbye. Bye. Bye. I will put on Fire Shield is pretty good. Eight percent reduction of fire damage what and regular. What can I do for you? What do you have? What for can sale? I interest you in? Oh, you have you have monkey pants. How fun! I want monkey pants. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm listening. Hate, hate, like. Okay. Don't, please. Really? You think that's funny? Not now. Not later. Not ever. Um. What have you. What? You think. Really? Interesting. Not now. You think that's funny? Maybe. Whatever you... Really interesting. No more. Not now. That's d remarkable. What nonsense. You think that's f remark? Don't. Please. Don't, I'm sorry. Please. What nonsense. Yes. Yes. That's just stupid. What a great story. <laughs> this many gave itself stupid. Don't talk. Sorry. I don't get it. No more. Really? Interesting. <laughs> All right. I get it. There, there's, a, there's a logic behind it, I promise, of how to do it right. But it is really dumb. Every time I do it, chat, I always have to explain to someone in chat. Okay, so. Take your time. You hover over an option, and his face will be, like, happy, slightly happy, slightly sad, slightly very, very mad. So you want to, you have to click all four options, all right? And then you have, you want to try to click the ones he's mad about when the bar is low, and you want to hit the one he's happy about when the bar is big, because you want to, it's all about a plus and minuses. You want to be as as many pluses as possible, as many negatives as possible. So you click on it. Every time you click on it, it will rotate one. So your goal is to figure out how do I click where it's low, have it rotate, and click where it's big, and then try to max. That's like the ultimate goal, is trying to figure out how to do that. 
Yes, rotate, rotate, rotate. Chat likes rotate. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Do you have repair hammers? Yes, you do. I love you now. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. I needed those. Anything else I need to sell to you? No. Right. A pleasure. To about to make a bunch be of potions, soon. sir. You better be, better watch out. I'm gonna make all the never mind. I don't have any potions. <laughs> Thought I was going to. I'm gonna repair though to level up my um, repair skill. Long days, and nights, the forge make you tough and strong. Now, apprentice armor. Your repair hammers now tw last twice as long. You cannot repair magical items yet. Ooh, very nice. Need more repair hammers. Dib it. I gotta go find more. <clears throat> Loving up armor or takes forever. So much. Oh. Go ahead and save. All right, we need to. Uh, we have a big mod pack that has a bunch of mods inside of it. If you go to our Twitch channel, type exclamation point wow, but, uh, exclamation point mods in the chat. It'll link up the mod list for you. There's a lot of them. Um, yes, I've heard. I need to go check on the paranoia quest and also buy more repair hammers. So let's do a quick, let's do a quick fast travel round to try to get as many repair hammers as possible because leveling up repair takes forever. The only way to consistently get them is to buy them from blacksmiths. Probably one more. Most open out nine. All right, let's go to the blacksmith and buy some over here. Fire and steel. You ever go into a shop and no one's in there? Just wait an hour and then they'll disappear magically. There they are. Well met. I would like armor, weapons. I have it all. How may I help? I can show you some new things. Ooh, armor. I can show you some new things. Good that you want to get better. Pay attention and. Thank you. Armor, okay. weapons. I have it all. How can may you I help? Please you? give me some. Oh, eight repair hammers. Hell yeah. Thank you. A pleasure to serve you. That sounded so sarcastic. You, too. you no, I didn't sound sarcastic. You did. Don't talk to me like that. With such rot. Such rot. I think this lady up here has so. Only ask you for a single coin. Well met. Only ask you. Starving. Please I'm asking for a single coin, please. Greetings. Books. Hello. Hopefully she has some repair hammers as well. Hello. I don't mean to impose, but I'm hoping you can help me. What? My daughter, Dama, is missing, and I don't know what to do. Uh-oh. That's great and all, but do you have Let's repair do hammers? Thank you. And some lockpicks. Thank you for your patronage. All right, time about your missing daughter. That's right. My daughter Dama never came back from Hackdirt. I'm 
dreadfully worried something may have happened to her. Can you help? Yes, I'll help find Dharma. I can't thank you enough for your kindness. She was supposed to make a delivery to a Tira Moslin in Hector, so I would start there. In case it may be useful, she was with Blossom, her horse, I mean. Dharma loves that animal and would never willingly abandon her. Tell me about Dharma. The best daughter a mother could ask for. Kind-hearted and a friend to everyone she meets. How about Hector? A rather isolated village south of Coral. We do some business with the trader there. Small volume, but she pays well. Normally I make the deliveries, but I wasn't feeling well, so Dharma insisted on going this time. I do hope nothing has happened to her. Um... Goodbye. Good day. I'll try to find your daughter. I don't want your you to be without a daughter. That's that would suck. We wouldn't get very many gifts for Mother's Day. <laughs> We're pair hammer. They're lasting a lot longer now. I like it. That's a possibility. Maybe Blossom kicked her in the face. You never know. We'll find out. Find nothing of use. I believe Hector is just straight south of the village. Yep, straight, straight ahead. Horsey. I guess we'll go and investigate and see what's down there. Shadow over Hector. Love the vibes in this game. Yeah, it's very beautiful. It's such a... It was a nice change of pace from uh, Morrowind. Morrowind was very cool place to explore, but it's like very alien. With all the fire and ash and strange creatures and mushrooms and stuff. This was a nice, uh, like, more like medieval Europe kind of uh, setting. We went to Debella already. Yeah, and Cliff Racers. There's a fort here. Uh-oh. Ah! Too many! Take that, Wolfie! Get smited! Imp Gall. Wolf Pelt. Gold. Yeah, gold. They got smoked. I smoked the hell out of them. Wait a minute. Fort Kermala. Rest for an hour. Make a backup save since so we're going through a door. sense a taint on the air. I sense evil. Must 
been the wind. <laughs> Must have been the wind that opened the door. What's that? Uh oh, there's a ghost. I don't have any way to harm a ghost. Ah! Vampire! Well, vampires don't like getting smited! <laughs> Warhammer of Strain. Get smited! Take that. My weapon is useless against ghosts, but I do have some pretty strong, pretty strong smiting skills. Mort flesh. I know, our smites are strong. Wait. Come on now. Got it. Eight gold. Just watch out for the disease. True. I do have curative magic, though, so we'll be fine there. They won't infect me with their evil. Magic. Buff. Bone break fever and witless pox. Ooh. Let us cast Cure Disease on ourself. Another hour. That is a lot of rats. <laughs> Holy hell. There's so many of them. They rise! Oh man, that is a hell of a lot of rats. Okay, I believe I have an AoE smite spell. Boom! Boom! <laughs> they have it only hits for five, so they had very low HP. They have been smited. Rat meat gold. Rat meat. Wait a minute. I hear the foul taint of undead. Disgusting. Take that! Evil. Absolutely disgusting monsters. It is I, the one who will smite you! Let's get this over with. Wait a minute, I have the wrong magic spell. Oops. Okay, uh, vampires really hate fire. We just gotta keep hitting them with fire. Come to me, sweet flesh. Ha ha! I think they get like a massive weakness to fire. Alright. Healing. 
Resting. Healing again. Okay, rest again. Saving. I know, we will burn them all. Wait a minute. I feel evil inside my body. I have vampirism. Ugh. Blessed Stendar, please cleanse my blood of this foul taint. Ah, uh, Stendar once again protects. His righteous fury washed over me and cleansed the evil. Sometimes you always have to clean, cleanse the taint of evil from you once in a while. Sometimes it tries to get inside and you just gotta purge it. Um, go. Bones and clothes. It's a weird treasure chest. That's better, gold. What kind of treasure chest has just bones and clothes in it? That's weird. Very strange. There we go. Alien coins. I will take it. A coffin? No, I, I'm not coughing today. My allergies have been good today. way to go I still sense evil Damn, I've lost well well look uh-huh well, there you are take that take you humans are Take that! Vampire dust. Those evil sons of bitches. I got it again, damn it. Well, I have to wait till we're done with the dungeon. They're just gonna keep giving it to me. Like, sorry, honey, I caught the vamp today. Who's there? Huh? Your death, villain! I shall smite thee! Oh! You hide in the shadows. Why won't I? Dagger. Empire dust. Luckily, fire just devastates them, so we don't have to worry too much about vampires. They'll just get smited out of existence. Let's see what's over here. There's a den of great evil. I see another creature that needs to be smoked. Are you the boss? Where, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Short sword of scorching. It's worth a little bit of money. You have fire spells. Vampires are just like child's play. They're like, damn it, my one weakness. That's very expensive, but very heavy. What's 
in here. Shadow Banish Wine. Isn't there a quest for that? Yep. <laughs> Came across a bottle of Shadow Banish Wine. Must be quite valuable. I should hold on to it until I find out more. Soul Gems. Just had to think it, and then the game's like, yep, here you go. We're going to be soul trapping and fill up soul gems. We're going to need those in the future. Open sack, strong potion of grace. Uh, modded Oblivion or modded Morrowind? Are you asking um, which I prefer or which this is? Name of the great game is on the screen if you're asking what game this is. Is this newer than Skyrim? Morrowind came out um, in 2006, five years before Skyrim. We're playing a modded version of it, though. Modders of Deers have modded Oblivion and Skyrim to insane amounts. Just like they make Skyrim look so much better than it came out. Sorry, Oblivion came out in 2006. Prefer? Uh, Oblivion um, has a more powerful engine, whereas um, Morrowind is... <laughs> Morrowind it, engine is so much older, it's really hard to mod it too much. Without it completely breaking. There is some sort of modded engine that people have been using. I think it's called Open Morrowind. That's supposed to modernize the engine a lot. Morrowind was 2002. Uh, Morrowind had a more of a static world where if you went to an area and it was too high level for you, you couldn't do it. You had to come back later. But by the same token, if you managed to get into some high level areas and get some loot from there, uh, you could use it at very low levels and break the game. So it was like a nice balance. We're using a Wabajack mod pack. If you're interested in learning about the everything in it, you can um, go to our Twitch stream and type exclamation point mods in the chat, and it'll link you to the mod pack we're using. It's a lot of them. But thankfully, the mod pack um, auto installs itself with Wabajack. Hack dirt. Why does this place look destroyed? Can't wait until with enemies nearby. Hack dirt caverns. This place looks really, really broken down for some reason. To this mod pack is mostly enhanced vanilla. Everything feels like the vanilla game, just slightly better. There really isn't anything that like makes it completely different. Wait, I, is that a horse? It's Blossom. I found Darmas horse behind Moslem dried goods, dirt, and hack dirt. Should ask. Etra and Mazda should know what happened to Dharma. Hmm. Hello there. Bet. Let me give you some advice, stranger. Leave. Now. You ain't welcome here. I'm the Paladin. Say what you're going to say. Say what you're gonna say. Sorry. 
I salute you. That's enough. Don't try to manip... You think that's... What? That's enough. Gracious. What a hero. You've got... Don't... You think that's... My life is drab and wretched by comparison. What? That's just not funny. Gracious. That's enough. Hmm. I can't argue. Don't wait. That's just... That's amazing. You think oh, that's funny? I know it funny? is. You win this one. Don't... I salute you. Well, thank Don't you. Don't try. That's just... My life is drab and I can't argue with We're that. We're getting it up there. That's just stupid. It's a slow process. I can't argue with that. Don't... Gracious. What a hero. That's enough. Not... That's just... Such adventures. There we that go. That works for me. Tell me about Hector. I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Whoa. Outsiders have always tried to destroy us, but we've always survived. Um. Goodbye. Goodbye. Natch Pinder. Moslin Dry Goods. Let's go see what's happening. Hello. We don't like strangers meddling in our affairs. Hello. You're not welcome around here. What's wrong with you? Make it quick. Hate, hate. All right, so boom, not boom. My life, that's just not funny. That's enough. Thank you. That's an, don't wait. That's just stupid. That's amazing. Thank you. Outsiders came and burned our town years ago. Ruined us. But we'll get ours back one day soon. Uh, I should go. Take care. What? Let's persuade you. Say what you're going to say. One. Okay, like, like, hate, hate. Don't make... I'm not buying that one. I can't... That's really funny. <laughs> Isn't it, though? You've got a point. Your foot... I'm not buying that. That's great. How's it go again? I like that. Don't make... I doubt you really mean that. I can't argue with that. I'm not buying that one. That's enough. Don't make... That's really <laughs> funny. Isn't it, though? Don't be silly. You're it's perfect. hilarious. I like... You win this one. Don't make me laugh. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. That's a bit... You've got a point. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? A little bit. You're perfect. That's... You win this one. There is a reasoning to this. That's a bit excessive, this. don't you think? You're full of... I like that a lot. I was never able to do this game as a kid, but now that I'm an adult, yeah, I, I, I get you. it. You win. Where did you get that? That's good. Everything for sale. Make it quick. What do you got here? Let's see. You need repair hammers? I don't need those right now. You want to buy this thing a scorching? You probably cheated me, didn't you? What? I would never. You probably... I'm the paladin. You probably cheated me, didn't you? What? No. You probably cheated me, didn't you? I did not. What is your problem? You probably cheated me, didn't you? No. You're the one setting the prices. If anything, you cheated me. You probably. You probably cheated me. Oh my God. You probably cheated me, didn't you? You probably cheated me, didn't you? You probably... You probably... You probably cheated me, didn't you? You probably cheated me, didn't you? She's got trust issues. Like, really badly. If you're done shopping, you'd best be moving along. Have you seen, uh, Dharma? I don't know any Dharma. 
If you're talking about that cursed Agonian swindler from Coral, I'd like to know where she is, too. What's her horse doing here, then? That's my horse. Owned it for years. Liar! I'll buy something or get out. Liar! Talking about Hector. We scrape by. Not that we've ever had naught but trouble from outsiders like you. You'd best be moving on if you know what's good for you. Make it quick. She's lying about everything. Like, what the hell's going on here? Store health? Anything else? Could you be any more bitchy? Like, what the hell? Let me shop without you completing. If you're done shopping, you'd best be moving along. Make it quick. Anything else? Anything, 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 anything else? <laughs> anything, anything. If you're done shop. I don't, this woman is so you. freaking rude. Like, what is her problem? Restore health, please. Also, uh, fortify health isn't bad. Let's also do fortify fatigue. Fortify health, fortify fatigue. Ooh. I'm making a super potion. Oh, hell yeah. Restore health. Damage health and damage luck. And burden. Holy shit, this is a powerful potion. And damage fatigue. No, can't do three yet. Super cure paralysis. I can also make it harm myself as well. <laughs> Not good. Um, how about frost damage? And then we could add in a little bit of silence as well. Ooh. That's a powerful potion. Fortify Magicka. Restore Endurance. Oh my god. I almost forgot I have vampirism. There's evil in my... In my body, I can feel it. Ah, oh, thank you, Stendar. There was vampirism all up in this. Thank you for reminding me, Chet. Thank you, Sorlin Hill. The silence effect, you are the enemy. Uh, it's a poison, so you put it on your weapon. You slice them, it does frost damage over time, and also silences them for the same amount of time, so they can't cast spells. It's amazing. Um, Etra Mazda nice Dharma ever came to Hector. She's obviously lying, but I doubt she'll tell me anything useful. Do you search town for clues? So she's lying that she's never saw her before. Ma'am. What do you want? To sell to Make you. Make it quick. Could you please buy a... Uh... That one. You probably cheated me, didn't you? No, I would never cheat you. Chat would lol at me and make me feel bad if I cheated you. If you're done shopping, you... Good day. You can't get anything by chat. Chat's always watching. And if they see you cheat or mess up, or they'll let you know. They will let you know. Chat's always watching. Always staring, just waiting. An inn, huh? You're not welcome here, stranger. Fuck off! Sorry. 
Sorry, I used foul language, Chad. I apologize. Hello. We don't like strangers poking their noses into our business. Well, maybe so? if I butter you up, you'll be happy. Don't. What? That's just not. What a great story. Not now. That's j really interesting. Whatever you want. Not. Yes. Yes. Whatever you say. Sorry. What a great story. Wasn't it though? What a dumb joke. <laughs> I wish I could say that. What? I accept. I have no choice. That's mm -hmm. just not funny. Don't. Whatever. What a Hell great yeah. story. What a dumb. Don't. Don't. I wish I could say that. Oh, I bet you do. Don't. Yes. Yes, whatever you say. Sorry. I don't get it. What a great story. <laughs> don't try. No more. Really? Sorry. All right. I get it. Tell me about Dharma. Who? Nah, I haven't seen any young women around. Even if I had, why would I know anything about her going missing? Not that I'm saying I ever seen her, because I haven't. Um... I like a bed for the night. I guess we've got a room available. 30 gold per night, take it or leave it. I'll take it. Fine, take the stairs up to the right, uh, the room on the left. No visitors allowed and no pets. No pets! Chad, I'm sorry I'm gonna sleep outside. My grandfather built this place. Not that it's any of your business. We've been down, but we got plans to bring back the good old days. You'll see. <laughs> Goodbye. Farewell. Moslin guest rooms. You're not welcome here, stranger. What are you talking about? I rented a room. Why is this room all, like, messed up? <gasps> Dharma's diary. Oh, shit. Found Dharma's diary in the inn in the hacktert. If you front the innkeeper, there's evidence to see if he changes his story. Ooh. And her room looks all messed up. I mean, it looks like most of our bedrooms before guests come over, but, you know. Someone would think that my bedroom was also a crime scene. Why is covered pot with corn in it? People walk into my room and be like, My God! What happened here? The FBI raided your room. What happened? No, that's just how it always is. Uh oh. I thought they were trying to find evidence. Let's read Dharma's diary. This is apparently a diary of a young Argonian uh, named Dharma. Most books de deals with personal, but Monday details of life and coral. The only interesting entry is the last one. <clears throat> Arrived in Hector after dark. <laughs> Arrived in Hector after, after dark due to Blossom throwing a shoe on the way. Road was really rough. Hardly more than a track. Doesn't anyone else come down here? Trader's shop was closed. And she wouldn't come to the door even though I could see light in the upstairs went rendo. Rude. Release's end was open, although the proprietor is kind of creepy. He gave me these weird grins when I thought I wasn't looking. Ugh. And what's wrong with his face? Seems like I'm the only one staying here tonight. I didn't see much of the town since I, it was already dark. But I admit to being kind of spooked. But I'll never admit that to Mother. Or she'll never let me go on another one of these deliveries. She still thinks I'm just a baby. She probably wouldn't say hatchling, and in front of my friends, too. Remember to ask her about the creepy end when I get, keep running it back. Well, the candle's almost burned down. They don't even ride a lantern in this horrible end. So I guess I'd better try to get some sleep. If I can't even sleep with all the creaking in this old place. I kept thinking I hear footsteps outside the door. I'm so on edge. Grow up, Dar. I'm sure in the morning it'll all seem quaint and charming. Good night, diary. 
So she was here. And she slept in this room. And she kept hearing creepy stuff that made Jack go Dan S. Hmm. Creepy innkeeper. What? Talking about Dharma. Oh, you meant the Argonian wench. Wow. Must have slipped my mind. Yeah, she was here, then she left. I don't know nothing else about it. Why didn't she take her things? How would I know? Maybe she went crazy and run off into the woods. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got things to do. Hmm. He admits he arrived in Hector, still denies anything about his disappearance. I'm sure that foul play was involved in my search in the my town search pretty sign of her. Yeah, something very sus is going on here. Hack Dirt Caverns. I keep seeing these doors to Hack Dirt Caverns. There's something under the town. What do you want? Uh, goodbye. Be seen. That's locked. Ma'am. What? Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's try the church. If there's ever something creepy going on in an old abandoned town, it'll happen in the church. Bible of the Deep Ones. What? Given to me by the Chief of the Deep Ones, he taught me his language and his runes. This is the ancient lore of the people which we shall follow from now until forever. Signed in the presence of the Twelve Witnesses, Erlev Mobslin. Sir, could you please leave so I can investigate? What do you want? Nothing. Stop following me. Oh, what the fuck? Those, that's Daedric symbols. Some Daedric thing is happening here. That means evil. That means there's a cult. You're not welcome around here. Well, you're stupid. I'm listening. Good one. Yeah. Don't try to manipulate me. I salute you. That's just talk. You can't scare me. Not now. I... Yeah, I get it. Is that so? Sure. Don't... Such adventures. How I... Et... What Oops. nonsense. That's pretty good. Such adventures. Oh, please. Sure. Not na gracious. You can't scare me. Can't I? Good one. Don't waste your... Such a... Is that so... I see. Tell me about Hector. We don't look kindly on strangers asking questions. If you need a room, try Muslin's Inn. Otherwise, you'd best be moving on. How about Dharma? Shh. We can't talk here. They'll get suspicious. The girl is in danger. What? Meet me tonight after dark in my house. I'll leave the door unlocked. Don't be late. Should I bring wine? Be seeing you. So he wants me to meet him in his room. At night, he'll leave the door unlocked for me to just come in whenever. 
Interesting. Well, we're gonna go. I'm so tired, I'm gonna take a little nap in my room. Going into. You're not welcome here, stranger. Shut up. I'm gonna sleep until nighttime. What? Hello? Yeah, Daddy. Yes. Brethren? Huh. Who the hell was that? can I do for you? Um, someone just attacked me in my room. What the hell was that? I would like to file a complaint that there was a big muscular man who manhandled me in my room when I woke up. Never mind. That wasn't a complaint, actually. I, I, it was fine. What's in here? Normally you have to pay for that kind of service. <laughs> Hello. You came. Good. I don't have much time. I have to get to the gathering before I missed. Tell me more about Dharma. You have to believe me. I didn't know what they were planning. They want to bring back the Deep Ones. I thought I did too, but... She's so innocent. They've got her down in the caverns. They're going to sacrifice her, you understand? You've got to save her. Here, take this key. It'll open any of the trap doors down to the caves. Every house in town has one. The one in Moslin's Inn is your best bet. Nearest where she's being held. The middle of the night. When everyone's at the gathering. Good luck. You will save her, won't you? I, I gotta go now. I'll try. Tell me about the caverns. Caves run all beneath the town. Some natural. Some dug over the years since we found the deep ones. Every house has an entrance now. What are the deep ones? I don't know much. Never seen them myself. Our grandfathers first found them, I think, digging in the mines. They helped us. Made us rich. But there was a terrible price. Blood. And worse. Who are the Brethren? Those of us who've changed the most, we call the Brethren. Live down in the caves, to be nearer the Deep Ones. They don't like the sunlight much. Dangerous, too. You'll want to avoid them if you can help it. I love this, like, Lovecraftian-style quest. I was only a boy when the soldiers came. We hid, vowed revenge, but the Deep Ones never came back. Atira, she's the one who found them old books, learned the runes, how to speak them again. But they want blood, she says, or they'll not help us. Oblivion has some of the best luck, side stranger. quests in all of Elder Scrolls. You get that girl out of this terrible place. It's very good. Hack Dirt Caverns. Let's go ahead and save. Found a trapdoor leads to the caverns. Huge reference to a Lovecraft story titled Shadow Over Innsmouth. Alright, what's down here? Gold. Torch and scythe. Shovel. Let's 
So there's something called... Oh, deep ones! Pack Dirt Brethren. Uh oh, oh! Watch it! Okay. Seem very fit. <laughs> okay, saving. No, this is a vanilla quest. We have no modded quest installed. Oh! Everyone's been working out! My heavy armor is at 69 from these men hitting on me. <laughs> I'm just perfect. Nice. Watch it. You die. You die. <laughs> I love that they all like keep shaved too. Very muscular, very oiled up, very shaved and clean. <laughs> and they worship the creatures called the Deep Ones. It's like, hmm. I see you, Bethesda. I see you. Healing. Healing. You're ready for my Starfield streams. Hell yeah. And Baldur's Gate 3. It's going to be some good ones. Uh, Morog, thank you for the 79 month resub. Appreciate that. Thank you. Um. Very big cavern. I see a bunch of bones. Let's double check our armor with our repair hammer. Level 32, good. Okay, get some mushrooms. A hard lock. Uh oh. All right, chat. This is gonna be a, a minute, so give me a second. <laughs> what UI mod are you using? I believe they use Northern UI in this mod pack. Ah! Fuck! No! Son of a bitch! <sighs> Wait a minute. No, I don't have it. You have magic for other locks, though. Chest, nearly a coin. Small crate, small crate, small crate. Nothing in that corner. Uh, Oh, Dharma! You're alive? She's alive, everybody! Please, let me out of here. You must help me escape. I think these creatures plan to do something horrible to me tonight. Are they gonna force you to watch 
Anime? I'll let you out. Thank you. Hurry. We need to get out of here quick. They're gonna convert her into a weeb. You stay right there where it's safe. I'm gonna go explore the cavern some more. I need to find more loot. Okay, nothing over here. Aiden Smart with 12 gift subs for chat. Bro, what mat, uh, mod is this? It's called The Last Seed. It's a Wabba Jack pack. Wabba Jack installs mods for you automatically. This one's mostly an enhanced vanilla pack, and it's been really good. If any of you are thinking about uh, wanting the list to the, the link to the mod, you can search The Last Seed. Um, Oblivion, or you can just um, go to our Twitch channel and type exclamation point mods in the chat, and it'll link it for you automatically. We give you the link and stuff. <clears throat> but so far, it feels like um, a better version of vanilla Oblivion. So I've been really enjoying that. Okay, we'll make a backup save because I don't know if you're going to die if I let you out and they attack. I freed Dharma from the clutches of the foul creatures that infest Hector. Now to escape and deliver her safely back to Sea Nidus and Coral. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Um. Is there any way to go further down? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any way to. Uh oh. I heard a growl. I don't think you can see the deep ones in this, unfortunately. They didn't quite go that far with it, but it would have been awesome if they added, like, a unique Daedra that was only in this area. Definitely ate something growling, though. So we go this one over here. Did I loot this? No, I did not. What is that sound? Save because we're about to go up into the world again. We could crash. Okay, rest until morning. So we can see. And they don't like the daylight, anyways, the creatures. Uh, your horse is. Let's grab your horse and get out of here. She's over here. Good old Blossom. Grab your horse. You gotta say Blossom too. What should I do? Uh, follow me. Sounds good. I'm right behind you. We saved both her and her horse, chat. We are a goddamn hero. To the north, right? Yes, this way. Now we just gotta get there without aggroing anything and getting her killed. Don't worry, I got this! Die, evil! What race? I'm Caucasian. <laughs> I, 
In game, we're an Imperial. We're an Imperial. Is she following? I I'll assume she'll show up, but I don't see her currently. Acrobatics leveled up, hell yeah. Leotech, thank you for summoning. I appreciate that. I think we're gonna start putting points in the luck, by the way. What? What the fuck? What do you mean she perished? Where is she? So she wasn't following me. God damn it. Dharma, are you following? Where did she even go? Grab the app! Maybe the horse killed her, yeah. Horse is looking a little sus. He just happens to be chilling in town. And he's fine. Yeah, something's going on. Ma'am, where are you going? Slow down! I can't keep up! Could you slow down? Oh my gosh, she's, she's really dumb. She runs right out in front of things that can murder the hell out of her. Okay, she's gonna get back on the horse. I know which way she's going now. <laughs> We gotta grab that. We gotta find a way to get to that boar before she does. Uh oh. She's just running out in front of me. Damn it, trunk! Dear God. Okay, she's still fine. She's at one HP. Magic. Greater convalescence. 
Be healed! One more hit, she was dead. Maybe stay with the person escorting you? Maybe that would be a good idea? Or you can just run out and f ahead and die, you know, whatever. I'm trying to see why she why she got captured so easily. She's not very smart. Does she go this way? Wish they'd make a remake of Oblivion. That'd be awesome. This game is really good and deserves a remake. Even some modernizations. They could do so much more with the story, too. Do you know that um, during this game, no one seems to care about the Oblivion Crisis, but apparently it was a big deal. There were portals opening up, not just in Cyrodiil, but all over Tamriel. And the Empire withdrew all their troops to come f defend the um, Imperial City. And by doing that, they made everyone else really pissed at them. Skyrim and Morrowind, and everyone was real upset. A lot of places lost whole cities and stuff from the Daedric invasion. Like, uh, in... The during the, um, the Oblivion Crisis, you know that big giant crab that was undead? The, like, the bones of it that was a city in uh, Morrowind? Apparently they resurrected that giant crab to fight the Daedra. And the Daedra eventually killed it again. And that whole city got raised to the ground. Alderaan, yeah. And it cut... Unfortunately, that was after um, Neverine disappeared and uh, what's his name? The uh, Vivek lost his powers. Or he was losing his powers and they were almost gone. Then once his powers are completely gone, um, How are the you? moon fell into Morrowind and caused the, uh, you? the volcano to explode again it's always rats and for ruin Morrowind. Thank you. Thank you. I can never repay you for your gift of my daughter's life. But you have my friendship and gratitude to the end of my days. The one group of people, yeah, that were... That, uh... Absolutely kicked the Daedric's ass was the Argonians. The Argonians got really high on the hist. And they freaking murdered the shit out of all the Daedra, and then they ran into the portals to fight the Daedra inside the portals, and then the Daedric had to close the portals because the Argonians were absolutely kicking their goddamn ass. Because <laughs> they were... The Argonians are insane. When they get all jacked up on the Hiss, they are, like, feral. Uh, Dharma. The best daughter a mother could ask for. Kind hearted and a friend to everyone she meets. Oh, goodbye. No you too. way. My hero. Hi. Oh, is that quest done? They're both burnt. Uh, gave me free mercantile training. Oh, okay. I hope I can help. I rescued your daughter. Hope you're happy about that. You too. Yes. What's new with you? What do you guys do? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the Altmer. Ooh. How are you? It seems Fantastic. Somerset Isles become asking. a much more dangerous. I've been hearing else. disturbing tales about Good Oblivion day. Gates Let's hear it. all across Cyrodiil. Could you all stop talking at the same time? Talk. I grow weary of waiting. Where is my book? Gave the book to Tikius. What? 
<laughs> you gave him the book? What were you thinking? And here I thought one of you guild mages might actually have a brain. All right, all right, we can deal with this. We'll have to get it back, that's all. You're in the guild, aren't you? You should be able to walk right in, find it, and take it. And if you can't, then break in. I want that book. Bring it to me once you have it. I'll even still give you the reward I promised, despite your incompetence. Now go. All right, Karen. Jeez. I'll go get it. Of course you will. Do whatever you must. I require that book as soon as possible. That's terrible. Hello. Absolutely. Hello. Let's go ahead, please. Hello, Mr. Chin. Any good rumors lately? The Countess seems much happier now that the item that was stolen from her was returned. He looks just like Dan Chad. Very buff. Goodbye. Black Hi. Uh, I'm Melinda Sankris. How are you doing? You have a what? Glistel and me, we keep an eye on things here in Coral for certain interested parties. As a public service like. What? He trained me. Willing to teach if you're willing to learn. All security. Pay attention. Uh, when you pick locks, only three tumblers will fall when you break a pick. Ooh. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. I will never forget your brave rescue of my daughter. What can I do for you today? You know what? You're welcome. May I interest you in some of my fine I need more lockpicks. I'm out of them. Goodbye. Take care. Greeting, my hero. Are any good rumors lately? Reynald Germain has terrible memory. We've met many times, but when I saw him in Jaden Hall, he walked right past me like we were strangers. Unfortunately, that's where the Deep Ones quest Take ends care. because they were a small team and they made this game, so. We won't get any more about the Deep Ones, but it was a cool, like, little tease of some lore. All right. Um, anything else that I can sell or do? So many keys. All right, well, let's go ahead and we need to go back. We're going to check and see if that paranoia quest is on bug. So let's go back to Skingrad and see if we can do the paranoia quest yet or not. You didn't go lower to the caves, did you? That was as far as it goes. They never made a, a place deeper than that. It would have been cool if they kept the cave going, but again, one guy had to make all the dungeons by himself, so some of them are kind of small. But they gave you enough to like get you a, let you be immersed even without all that. They keep mentioning this guy's bread. Let's go see, talk to this guy. Hi. A sweet roll. But of course, Salmo is famous for his sweet rolls. One taste, and you are in heaven. On top of the world, yes? Any good rumors lately? I suppose Count Hasseldor keeps Skingrad running smoothly, but you hardly ever see the man. Good time about Skingrad. I could never leave Skingrad. All my good friends here would die without my sweet rolls. The rest of the world must suffer as best it can without me. I would eat all his I would eat all your sweet rolls. I'm a big chunk. Bye. Look at all these sweet rolls. It looks so good. Hello. Hello. You're new here. Or you'd know me. Tutius Sextius, my people have lived in Skingrad <laughs> since the dawn. Father and the Count were best of friends. <laughs> Your name is what again? Tell me about Glathir. I'm sorry, but I don't think I know any Glarther. Oh, wait, do you mean that strange wood elf that you see wandering around the city? 
Yes, I've seen him, but never spoken to him. He seems to be at the low gate every morning when I pass by on my way to the castle. Gives me the strangest looks now that you mention it. Almost like he hates me, although I have no idea why. Um, goodbye. Bye. Go ahead and save. Let's uh, make it t um, 10 p.m. And then hopefully he will be at the spot now. This quest is very buggy. But hopefully he's there now. Uh, paranoia. How do you do? Hello, I'm Tudius Sextius. How are you? He's still not here, unfortunately. Oh, there he is. He finally showed up. Yay. So, you saw Bernadette Penelis, did you? She was watching me and following me, wasn't she? Uh, you were right. She is following you. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. Excellent work. There will be a bonus in this for you. Don't worry. What about the reward you promised? Ah, of course. The gold. Here. But there is someone else I need you to investigate. What else do you want me to do? Tutius Sextius. Do you know him? <laughs> yes. A quiet fellow. Appears harmless enough. But I've identified him as one of my key suspects. He's a clever one, no doubt about it. Eyes in the back of his head. Always seems to know when I'm watching. But that's where you come in. Yes. You should wait outside his house and see what he does when he's not watching me. I'll meet you here tomorrow night to get your report. Sure. Tell me about Tudius Sextius. He lives in the large house between the low gate and the east bridge, alone. Suspicious, don't you think? A little bit, Bernadette. I always suspected she was watching me. Thank you for finally confirming it. All right, let me wait 24 hours. <laughs> Sir? Sir? No? God, this quest bugs all the time. <laughs> Let me, I believe you travel away. We, we travel away, wait 24 hours and come back and believe that fixes it. Maybe. Let's hope. Okay, we rest for 24 hours. This quest is just notoriously buggy. It's very, very buggy. Getting him to show up is very hard. Spare a coin for the infirm? Sure. Now we'll wait till nighttime. And two more hours. All right, please show up, mister. Over there. Come on, please show up. Yeah, he pays you a lot of money for doing this. 
He's crazy and has lots of money. A lot of real life equivalents to that. <laughs> Uh, nope. 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 <laughs> Try... Try waiting some more. Waiting around for someone to show up that never does. Ah, uh, we've all been there. All right, well, he's not going to show up, and he will show up at that point sometime randomly. We'll just have to keep checking in on him. Eventually, he'll show up at this point at some point. Just a matter of when. Maybe if we go inside and come back out, he'll decide to show up. Oh, there he is. Maybe he's leaving right now to go over there. Come on now. Sir, you were supposed to meet you were supposed to meet me over there. Where are you going? I told you not to speak to me in public. We'll meet tonight at the place we discussed. Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I have no idea what time it is. Well, if you're going to meet me, oh, there he's moving now. He's actually going there. Yay! Fixed. Uh, this game has four voice actors for all the NPCs, except for main characters. Some of the main characters have unique voiceovers, but for this game, you have four voice actors. Uh, four female, four male, one of the actors voices two races to make all ten races. Aha! Uh -huh. Tell me what you learned about Tutius Sextius. He's spying on you. So, I was right all along. You're doing excellent work, my friend. What about the reward you promised? Here you go, my friend. Trust me, you've earned it. There is one last person that needs looking into, though. Uh-huh. What else do you want me to do? Do you know David Sorley? Yes, of the famous Sorley Vineyards. Uh-huh. Pillar of the community, etc. Who would ever suspect him? Perfect cover for the ringleader of the whole conspiracy. He watches my house constantly. You'll see. He leaves his house early each morning. Watch him and report back to me here at midnight as usual. Make sure he doesn't notice you. <laughs> He's so crazy. <laughs> Tell me about David Surreal. The Surly house is right next door to mine. A large house with a backyard conveniently located to observe my every move. Ooh, definitely suspicious. Be careful. David Surly is the ringleader. You must not let him catch you watching him. All right, I'll keep that in mind. The whole conspiracy! I agree, not me down. Uh, he reminds me of Dan Nice. Absolutely crazy. Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, no time to talk. Are you okay? Okay. Um, 
David Savine. Savine. Surreal Brothers, right next door. So, this way. Have pity on an old war veteran. Greetings. Hello. I'm Gaston Cyrilli. Perhaps you've met my brother David. Together, we are the Cyrilli Brothers Winery. Uh, goodbye. You too. Where's David? I gotta talk to him. I go, nope, not back there. Obviously, he's spying on him. I just gotta prove it. Surreal Brothers. Hello. Nope. Fortunately, I have no way of tracking him. Wait an hour, maybe he'll walk out the door. No. Another hour. Hello, anyone? Hi there. Warriors have traveled from Skyrim with orc mercenaries Dog bump. to assault the Red Baron. All right, let's. Uh, we'll just wait. Oops, I waited too long. Not there. All right. Let's wait another 20 hours. Uh, we're feeding his delusion because the captain of the guard told us to try to get him to do something suspicious so that way they can arrest him. Aha! So, what did you discover about the upstanding David Surly. You were right. He's spying on you. I knew he was the ringleader of the whole conspiracy. You may have helped save my life. And so it all falls into place. Yes, yes, it all makes sense now. Here, this is your last task. What about the reward you promised? Here's the gold, as promised. I always pay my debts and then some. Do the last task in that note, and I will pay you much, much more. Much more? What does this note say that you gave me? These people must be killed. There is no choice. They're definitely conspiring against me. Bernadette Pennell is totally the sexiest David Surreal. That's it! We got him, boys! We got him! Let's see. Protect and serve. It's what we do. Glathir. Do you have something you want to tell me about that nutcase? Uh. He thinks there's a plot against him. Really? He's getting worse then. Thanks for letting me know. If you think he's becoming dangerous, you come straight to me, and I'll handle it. You have something you want to. He needs to be arrested. Why? What's he done? Look at what he's written. Damn. He's finally gone completely bonkers. Thanks for the tip. Now stand aside and let the guard do their work. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you going that way? That's the long way. Just you wait. You're under arrest. 
for being crazy. Okay, you went the really long way around. Just you wait. You're under arrest. What the? What's the matter? Getting tired. <laughs> Um. He doesn't need that anymore. <laughs> Speak, citizen. Glathir. Sad story. But at least we stopped him in time, thanks to you. Uh. Thanks. Good day. Well, um. They could have put him in jail, but apparently not. We're just gonna. Murder him in the street. Sure. <laughs> Medieval justice. Let's see what's in his house. Basket. Eight hundred gold. Damn! <laughs> he had a lot of gold in his garbage. Well, he's dead, so he doesn't need any of his belongings anymore. He was a criminal. One gold. Something tells me that he never had children. Or dated anybody. Anyone that that's that is that paranoid about like people spying on them or big conspiracies probably doesn't have a very happy life and is trying to fill their life with fantasy stuff just to pass the time. Or mentally ill as well, yeah. So many paintings. I think it's safe to take is gold because it doesn't get marked as stolen. I don't have very many lock picks. I can't really pick much. He's got somehow this guy has gold everywhere. I don't know where the hell he got it from. Open, easy, lock. Those are all hard locks. Man definitely had lots and lots of gold. <laughs> Is there a mod list? Yep, type exclamation point mods. In the Twitch chat for the list. If he doesn't link it, if Muba doesn't link it immediately, that means it's already been linked, so scroll up and down to find it. Oh, another, another gold. Now, what's in your basement? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Just food and stuff. Glathier's notes. Proof against Todius Sextius. Alas, I chose my helper well. Now to gather evidence against David Cyril. Benedict Penos is guilty as I thought. You still have a chance. Found someone to help me today. A stranger who can move freely. Hope to have proof against Benedict Penos by tonight. All right, today I caught Benedict Penos watching me. I have very little doubt that she's one of them. Sad me. I thought I heard a few to show me kindness and nest of treachery. Now it seems it was all a lie. Current thoughts on the conspiracy. Marathi selectives, most likely. Ruthless and secretive. I have now earned their enmity by my vigilance a number of times. The Blades, mostly guard the Empire. Question, do they know that I know their dark secret? 
Everything hinges on that. Mythic Dawn, you learn more about them. Obscure hints from various source just that could be the most dangerous of the three. Question, why would they want me dead? David Surreal. Watch them from my upstairs window. He pretends to work, but I can tell that he's really watching my house. Spent several hours whispering to his brother. Could Gaston be involved as well? Tuesday. Followed him to his vineyard. Don't think he saw me. Went off by himself once I could be bearing secret evidence. No, go back tonight and search for this. Could be the break I need to find the truth. Too safe to go out today, but notice him staring at my window. Search the vineyard tonight, found nothing. The, but the ground had clearly been disturbed. He must have learned that I was spying on him and removed it. Need to find someone out of town to help me. My movements are being watched too closely. David uh, David's watched my house again. He doesn't even try to hide anymore. They're becoming more brazen now. I think I, I'm, I'm good as caught in their net. Must strike back before it's too late. But are desperate measures called for yet? Do I have enough proof to justify acting? He is delusional. Was delusional. Not anymore. He did. He, he's just crazy. They're, the other people are just normal people living their lives, but he he sees that they're like spying on him and want him dead and stuff. But none of it's true. He's just crazy. Ah. I need to rest. Oh, luckily I know where a bed is. Can I sleep while trespassing? Damn, never mind then. Thank you, I Night Stalker, for the resub. Welcome back. Appreciate that. How old is this game? This game came out in 2006, but we have it modded with um, a Wabajack mod pack that um, makes updates of graphics quite a bit, you know, as good as they can. I mean, there's only so much you can do with the old engine. Like, you can't change the lighting system and stuff too much. It's old. And the... This game only runs on one CPU core. So you can't add too many things that the engine just going completely apeshit crazy and crashing all the time. This is probably one of the most stable mod packs I've ever played. It doesn't crash very often, like once every couple hours. Which for Oblivion is insanely good. Aha! Let's go. One point in luck. Plus four in strength. Plus five in personality. Actually, willpower. What? Oh, God! What just happened? Hello, associate. Hello. A pleasure to speak with you. What did we do? Goodbye. Good day. Hello, guildmate. Don't get hello, guildmate me. I don't know what just happened. I woke up and someone was in my bed. The difference between Morrowind and Oblivion is just four years? Yes. They somehow made Oblivion in only four years. What is it, associate? It was amazing how they did that. Who knows? They may have been working on it like a little bit before they launched uh, Morrowind. All right, I think that's it for the quest here. So now we can go back to what we were doing. Oh, we need to go to the um, Imperial City and do the quest there. Some of the main quests. <laughs> I 
Let's uh, go ahead and save the game. Guess I won't be busy. Okay, main quest. We need to. Um, what is it? Contact Barius. Should be somewhere over here. Uh, Luther's Broad Boarding House in the Imperial City. Boarding house? Where is that? Look, it's over this way. Did you know that Marik the Liar tells the truth? Well, then why does his, um, why is his name the Liar if he always tells the truth? Got ya. Hi there. Hello. Hello, Kayaf Coffee. Hello, Barius. Sit down. Don't say anything. Just do what I say. Yes, Daddy. Oh, hello. Hi. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. And who will follow me? I'm ready when you are. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. All right. Keep an eye on him, chat. Sus. Mythic Dawn. Ah. Carry and strike. I'm on your side. Sorry. Enemy attacked. Um, Barris is dead. I should find out what Barris learned about our enemy. <laughs> Mythic Dawn commentaries. Kind of strange book, Mythic Dawn Cloud shows to Barris. Are you okay, buddy? Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me at a bad time. Aw, I'm happy to see you, too. What have you learned, Barius? The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. <gasps> Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. I found Ariel's heir, Martin Septim. Thank Talos he lives. Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades. The enemy has the amulet. What? They took it from Joffrey? Things are worse than I had thought. What's our next move? There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn Network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broads. May Talos guide you. I will go you learn investigate. From Tarmina about that book. This might just be the break we need. Don't worry, I'll hide the body. Come on, come on now. Uh, uh. Could you, <laughs> sir? Please, you gotta work with me here. Get in the corner, <laughs> sir. Please, come on. You gotta, you gotta hot. Please, come on. Can you get? Can you please just move your foot over? It's not hard. Okay, he's not gonna cooperate. He's kind of in a dark corner. No one will notice that he's there. Mm, this cabbage tastes very corpsey. Hail. What do Hail. you need, friend? Good to see you. 
Hi. Luther Broad's boarding house. I'm Luther. You want beds or food? See me. Can I have food in my bed? Any good rumors lately? There's a new ship moored up in the waterfront district. The Marie Elena. It's a galleon, I think. The Marine Elena? Talk about the Imperial City. It's a matter of trust. And I don't trust you enough yet. Oh, yeah? Well, let's change that, sir. Go ahead. You can't... Blah, blah. That's... Please. I'm in bed. Is that so? <sighs> You're... Sure, that... Goodness. Mm. What can... That's just... Your... F good one. Really now? Uh -huh. Aha! You're, you're wasting your... You're a big, fat liar. Really? Yeah, I get it. Tell me about the Imperial City. Daedric Shrine's nearby. I know of two. What? North of the city, south of Bruma, east of the Silver Road is a Mafala Shrine. Mafala? East of the city, at the head of the Red River, is a shrine to Vermina. Why would you know about those? It's a little bit suspicious. You too. No one about Daedric Shrines up in here. And he knows Mafala and Vermina, two of the, of the most evil ones. Hmm. I'll keep an eye on him. Something sus is going on. I don't like it. Gonna need more evidence, of course. You love killing the adoring fan? Isn't he immortal? I can't remember. I thought he's like immortal in this game. It's been a long time though. A lot of mushrooms out here. 16 caps. Oh, jeez. Four more caps. Mushrooms for days. I love it. All the mushrooms. Good thing we have the Black Horse Courier. I don't know how we'd get our news without it. I prefer to just listen to people. Hello. I am Wumik. Gods commend you. Any good rumors? Hey, you're the one they call the hero of Kavach, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> the one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city. It is I. Uh, goodbye. You too. Thank you. Wait a minute. Trying to get to the Arcane University. Let's just go. Whoop. Save a couple loading screens. Ooh, purple. It's it's you, the hero of Kavach. It is. This is truly an honor. Thank you. I am full of honor. Uh, are you Termina? Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? Uh, tell me about the Mythic Dawn. You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. I found one of their books. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. I need to find the Mythic Dawn. Find them, huh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the Blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. 
It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Where can I find these books? Here. You can have the library's copy of volume two. Treat it gently, if you please. Thank you. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the market district. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. Tell me more about Mankar Cameron. The supposed leader of the Mythic Dawn cult. He wrote the infamous Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. Uh, any good rumors lately? The Coral Guild Hall had an unpleasant visit recently from someone who had a grudge against Tikius. Oh, from... Yep, I don't know anything it about that. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure to let me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turned. All right, we need to go back to the market district to the bookstore. Is there a specific build dance plane? Um, in Oblivion, you can be literally everything. You can have all abilities, all skills. But we're we're playing as a paladin, which is exactly what it needed. We needed to be at any time. Guys, take us do a quick save here. I'm going to go um, to the bathroom. All right, welcome back, guys. Now we got to go to this uh, bookstore and see if we can find the books. Hello. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. I'm listening. Into Ray's disposition with you. Angry, angry. Don't talk such rot. I like that a lot. Uh oh. I wish I could. Is that so? No. Oh, please. Don't talk such rot. I wish I. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. <laughs> Don't waste your flattery. It's so Remarkable. Good. I love it. Is that so? That's great. How's it go again? <laughs> it's so good. You can't scare me. I like that. Can't Not I? Now. Really? Interesting. Don't waste your flatter. You can't. That's great. How's it go? Remarkable. Not bad. Don't try to manipulate me. I would really? never. You can't scare me. Oh, that's great. That's really too much. Don't try to <laughs> manipulate. Is that so? Oh, this mini game that's is That's great. How's definitely a choice. What a great story. Uh, no. Don't talk such rot. Really? Is that so? Oh, that's great. That's really That works for me. Time about the Mysterium Xarxes. You must be referring to Mankar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. A common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. I need volumes three and four. I happen to have a copy of volume three on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for by another customer. Sorry. What? Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> uh, hmm. 
Hi, Dev here. We spent hundreds of hours studying real conversations. Hope you find this mini game very immersive. Yes. Yes. What about volume four? I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. How about three? I'd like to help you, but the cost... I would have to try to obtain another copy for Gwyneth, not to mention his disappointment if he found out. Gwyneth? I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on volume three of Cameron's commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. Valenwood? As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. Okay. Heard any good rumors? The Imperial Watch seems awfully worried about the Grey Fox. Look at all those wanted posters. I've been here for 15 seconds. I remember this quest from so long ago. Wild Fathom, I believe you are experiencing nostalgia. It's a wonderful feeling. I offer the finest good. What can I sell to you? Bible the Deep Ones. Crumpled notes. Letter. List of death. Uh, pale pass map. No. I got a pleasure to serve you. Thank you. Have a look at my wares. Um, I'm let sure me see if you have you. any um, highly intellectual books. I'm looking for something that's really smart, very intellectual. Um, looks like you don't carry that book, unfortunately. Damn. There's no... Um, you don't carry one of the greatest books ever made? The Lusty Argonian Maid? Wow. I'm, I'm offended. Blasted thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. He's a slippery one, though. The beggars are his eyes and ears. You never really liked the dialogue in Oblivion? Good well, day. it's... It's, all, it's very kind of same because it's the same voice actors again and again and again, but... When, when it does work, it works well. I think the, the guild quests are the best part of the game and some of the side quests. Let's see. So, some guy is coming named um, Gwynius. Gwynius. Let's see if we can f wait for Gwynius and then talk to him, or possibly... Hello. What can I do for you? Uh, Commentaries, Volume 3. Have you been following me? Leave me alone. That book is mine. What? I, I want to buy it from you. It isn't for sale. You'll have to find a copy somewhere else. Tell me about the Mythic Dawn. The Mythic Dawn? Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. You're in way over your head, sir. I beg your pardon? You presume to tell me about Diedrich cults? I'll have you know that I visited the Shrine of Sheagorath during the Festival of the Mad. <gasps> I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath the full moons. <gasps> I've... They killed the Emperor, you fool! What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones... You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. Mancar Cameron's views on Mayrune's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. But to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. You better give me that book. I, Dan the Paladin, is only is one of the only people strong enough to withstand this evil threat. You better give me that book. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, volume three is yours. What you do with it is your business. 
I need the fourth book as well. You can only get volume four directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Good. Now you better leave. What do you want? Gwenius. I've already said too much. I'm sure you understand. My customers expect absolute discretion. Fine. Gwenius. I've already... Go ahead. I think I need to get it a little bit higher for him to tell me more. That's great. Don't waste your flattery on me. Well done. Oh, please. Mm -hmm. Would you get... Not now. Well done. You can't uh -huh. scare me. <laughs> well, just this once, I don't suppose it would do any harm. Gwyneth mentioned he was staying at the Tiber Septum Hotel. Thank you. Perhaps he'd be willing to sell you Volume 3, but I doubt it. He was very pleased with his purchase. I already got it. Just wanted to do that. Thank you. Good day. <laughs> so, I think we need to go into his place and meet the Mythic Dawn. This is sus, though. Where does this note say to go? Let's find out. Note for Gwenius. Gwenius, your interest in the writings of the master have been noted. You have taken the first steps toward true enlightenment. Persevere, and you may yet be exalted ranks of the chosen. If you wish to continue further down the path of the dawn, you'll need the fourth volume of the master's commentaries, Mr. Mysterium Xarxes. It can only be obtained from a member of the order of the mystic dawn. As your designated sponsor, I will pass on my copy to you if I deem you worthy. Study the first three volumes of the Master's writings. Look for hidden meanings in its words, as best you're able. When you're ready, come to the sunken sewers under the Elven Gardens in the Imperial City. Come alone. Follow the main tunnel until you reach the room with a table and chair. Sit down. I'll meet you there and give you what you desire. The sponsor. Conjuration increased. Greeting... Oh, this is so long. Oh, each one of these is crazy long. Destruction increased. Tower touches the mantles of heaven. Oh, it's just a bunch of... Starlight is your mantle, brother. Wear it. Greetings, Novia, and know that the first Resurance Mankar Cameron was once like you, asleep, unwise. Atomic, we mortals leave the dreaming sleeve of birth. Book is your door to that demeans you through your destroyer. Oh, it's so long. It's so long. There's Hello so many there. books. Hello. How can I help you? Um. Ooh, the sewers. I think we need to go through this hollowed out tree. Table in the sunken sewer beneath the city. Go take that meeting instead. You should go to Barius first. Oh. Let's go tell Barius. How fare thee, friend? Hail! Well, everything in uh, the Elder Scrolls games is scaled down. Like, for example, the 7,000 steps in Skyrim is only about 700. So everything's, like, shrunk so they could, you know, develop the whole thing. I wonder if the next Elder Scrolls game, they will, like, go bigger. Where they won't have to shrink things down. Have thousands of NPCs in a city. You're not easy to get hold of. What have you found out? Um, Tarmina. Like I said, she's one of the brains over at the Arcane University. Gwyneth told me about a meeting. This just might be the break we've been looking for. Good work. 
We need to get that fourth book, then. If Tarmina is right, we can use these books to locate the Mythic Dawn's hidden shrine. Let's go. I know that part of the sewers well. I can't Follow believe... Uh, I can't wait for someone to, to the do... Um, where we need to meet the sponsor. Skyrim Field, where they try to import Skyrim onto a planet in Starfield. You know someone's going to try to make that mod. Like, you land on the planet and it's... Oh, it's Skyrim! <laughs> Take that, dragon! <laughs> Have my ear, citizen. Let's go, Barius. Ew, the sewers. Ooh, it's dark down here. Get my back. Oh, it's Rex! I expect a mod that makes uh, the Bebop from Cowboy Bebop a skin for your ship. Oh, there will be all the mods for Starfield. Because the Skyrim community is getting a bit bored of making mods for Skyrim that they'll probably start making mods for Starfield next. Until the next Elder Scrolls comes out. Oh my god, mud crabs! Crab meat. Crab meat. Crab meat. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Already dead. Oh, Barius, uh, where are you, buddy? Oh, you're going that way. I'm gonna follow you. Stick together! Die! Die! Strike. Anyone want some roasted crab legs in chat? A little closer. Aha! Get my back. I got you, sir. Get oh. smited. I'm sure someone will probably find a way to import. They'll make a Fallout planet, an Oblivion planet, where you just like, you land on the planet, and then you you wake up on a cart in Skyrim, and then you land on Fallout, and then you're, it, you wake up in a vault, and your dad's Liam Nielsen. You're finally awake. Sorry. What is this rat doing with gold? Hmm. A little bit suspicious. Look out. A little close. It's just a crab. You got this, I'm sure, right? Let's make restore health. Ooh. And then we can add in resist paralysis and also, oh no, we don't want burden on there. Okay. Um, damage insulate. Nope. Resist paralysis and fortunately both of those add a very bad effect. Um, burden self. That's bad. Right, 
How about frost damage? And then we could add in... No, that's no. Damage health. And then we could add in damage willpower. Damage health again, and then burden. We could make all the burden potions. <laughs> Damage fatigue. Um. And Damage intelligence. Still damage intelligence. Damage speed. No, make that restore health, please. Restore fatigue. Yeah, okay, that's a lot of potions. Let's add burden on there. Saving. Get my back. Oh, why aren't you wearing armor, sir? Take that mud crab. Ah, goblets! Living in the sewers and no one noticed. So many goblins. Goblin skirmisher. They have very high sneak. And it's also the sewer, I guess. There's not a lot of people just chilling down here, I bet. Do you guys have anything back over here? A little stash over here? My sword is huge, I know, and it thirsts for evil to smite. I must smite all evil. Smiting evil is my favorite thing. I'm probably gonna play Paladin in uh, Baldur's Gate 3 as well. Because, my god, uh, we are gonna play the hell out of that game. That's gonna be fun. Paladin D and D is a pretty fun game. This was mine. Pretty fun class. Oh god, zombie! Get the caster down. Caster, come here. I need to restore. We're gonna damage health, poison, and we're going to restore fatigue. Yeah! Boom! Aha! Silver dagger, potion to spell. 23 gold, hell yeah. Goblin's just chilling here with the whole setup. I imagine like a, a place as big as the Imperial City probably has a lot of people. And when you have a lot of people, they make a lot of stuff that would go down here. It's probably pretty intense down here. Battered crate. Yeah, there's a lot of, um, things. Rest.
saving. Why would they have tents in the sewer? Well, they're goblins. They're probably used to stanky stuff. Goblins aren't like the smartest of creatures. Look out! This one's mine. Charge! A little closer. Sorry. More crab meat. It's well known that goblins are kind of stupid. Get my back. They're a little bit dumber than orcs. And orcs are pretty dumb. What? We all... If you look, in the, if you look under the stat book for orcs, the intelligence is usually pretty low. You get like a negative on it. Same with goblins. Uh, the worst get a minus two, and goblins get a minus four. I mean, it's just like in the stats. Uh oh, close me. Okay, make a backup save in case I break my last pick. All right, what do we got in here? Is it worth it? Come on now. Oh, come on. Woo! <laughs> ah, 41 gold. That's it. All that work for 41. All right. The room with the table is just through this door. I always wondered who put it there. I happen to know that if you go up the stairs there, you can get a vantage point on the meeting room. I think I'd better be the one to handle the meeting. You'll be my backup. Keep watch from above in case of trouble. I'll meet the sponsor. No, it should be me. I have a blood debt to repay these Mythic Dawn assassins. Besides, I've trained for this kind of thing my whole life. No. I'm the paladin, I'm the player, you'll do what I say, okay? Very well, we'll do it your way. Be careful and remember, we can't leave here without that book. It's our best chance of getting the amulet back. I'm ready when you are. Listen. I may not survive this, but if I don't, you must. You must recover the book and find the Amulet of Kings. I understand. We'll do it together. Because I'm the paladin. I will not let you die. I'm glad to have you at my back. Okay, let's do this. All right, he's no longer set to essential. So... If he goes down, he's down for good. So we have to keep him alive. Protect him with Stendar's mercy. Alright, let's go ahead and... Okay, I think I have to sit down. <laughs> Sorry. So, you want to become one of the chosen of Mayrun's Dagon? The yes. path of dawn is difficult, but the rewards are great. I have the book you seek. With it and the Master's three other books, you will possess the key to enlightenment. Yes? Goodbye. <laughs> but I told 
should have come along. Oh no! Brothers, Shit! Kill them. Hurry! I do not myself. I will protect you! The dawn is breaking! The dawn is breaking! The dawn is breaking. You are weak like the gods you pray. You're weak like my bowels after cheese. Watch it. I do not fear death. Parry and strike. Parry and strike. Lord. I do not fear death. Parry and strike. Got him. <laughs> That's three more that won't be reporting back to their master. Healing. Healing. We did it, chat. Barius is alive. <laughs> For now. Grand Ring of Aegis. Shield. 18% on self. <gasps> That's really good. Sunken Sewers Key, Alien Coin, Mythic Dawn Commentaries 4. I have the fourth and last volume of Mankar Cameron's writings. I can now piece together the clues within them to find the Mythic Dawn Secret Shrine. Maybe Tarmina can help. Two gold. Where'd the other guy go? There he is. Ring of Blunt Force, Fortify Blunt on self. Yeah. Like some people in chat have that enchantment. Uh, bear, bear. Where, are you, where are you going? I gotta talk to you, man. Hello. Now that you have all four books, you should be able to handle things from here. I'm going to Cloud Ruler Temple. My place is at Martin's side. Talk about the sewers. The sewers run underneath the whole Imperial City. There are access points in every district. The Blades have occasion to use them in our undercover work, as well as a means to move around the city without attracting attention. Uh, the, the game looks good with your mods. What are they? It's called The Last Seed. It's a mod pack for Wabajack. If you go to our Twitch channel and type exclamation point mods in the chat, you can see the full list. I'll see you back at Cloud Ruler Temple. Good luck. I saved him. We didn't have to reload the save at all. That was great. All right, let's see if these Mythic Dawn fools have any treasure hidden around here. Usually evildoers have a stockpile of... of Loots. Mythic Dawn's commentary level. Ooh. Two lockpicks. Some gold. Crumbled notes. Inkwell. I'll take that book. Let me read the other book, too. Mysticism increased. Forgot about mysticism. We gotta keep doing that. Alright, can I make potions to save some space? Alchemy increased to 58. Hell yeah. Restore endurance. Uh, copper ring. Gold. <gasps> Look at all the gold they have here. One for 16. An orcish shield. Silver war axe. I can't move. Um, I'll have to cast our burden spell. Ease my burden. Ooh, does resist disease on self. Very nice. Can I wear two rings in this? <gasps> I can wear two rings. Oh, wow. In Skyrim, it limited you to only have one ring on. That's a really good one. Resist 18% uh, eight, shield on self. And this one that resists magic on self. That makes me pretty tanky. 
We like being tanky. Uh, this game is unfortunately not on the new consoles because the engine's just so old. It doesn't, uh... Wait, what? A very hard lock? Oh, no. What's in there? Okay. Let's save. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ha-ha! Fuck! <laughs> what? That's it? Ugh. Not even magic gear? Come on. That's skim. Okay, I can fit all this because I have the uh, buff right now. We can carry a bit more. Orca's shield sells for quite a bit. That one is too heavy. What is... Who is the most attractive NPC in the game? Well, there's this... Um, there's this really, really muscular person that hangs out in the basement of a fighter's guild that trains all day with a sword. He's like, wah, rah. That's probably the most pretty one. Oh, God, more evil. Get out of here. Oh. Okay, uh oh. Heal. Oh god, I'm on this guy is tough. Uh let's do burden. Restore Weak potion of healing twice. Ah! Damn you Eva! Ah. Weak potion of shock shield. Silver daggers were taken. It's pretty light. That gate is closed. Open this. Ooh, more loot. Mithril gauntlets. That's pretty good. 170 gold. Gold. Ooh, chat. We're getting so much gold from this run that... Chat, I'm going to take you into town. And all of you can get... Some... Shadow Banish wine. You can also get sweet rolls if you want a sweet roll instead. That's fine. Chat. Just you and me, villain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got him. Get smited, evil. That's a great death face.
Dwarven War Axe, Dwarven Mace. Okay. Knife. Oh, let's do some repair work. That could um, help us a bit as well. Free up some space. I keep forgetting Soul Trap. I need the Soul Trap, damn it. Okay, let's rest for an hour. Okay, I need the feather again. Or else I can't move. Ease burden. I played a little bit of Baldur's Gate Early Access about four years ago. But I haven't played it since then. I only played a little bit of it just to get used to the game. I barely played any of it, so... It'll be, when we play Baldur's Gate here um, on the third, it's gonna be pretty much a first playthrough, except for the very opening cutscene. Skill level's too low, what? No! Acquire skill level 25, aw. I don't have any other mysticism stuff to level up. Well, shit. So I can't even soul trap you, but I wanted to. Let's see. Thank you, Relis, for the nine month resub. Appreciate that. And Backyard Kager, thank you very much. I need to go to the mages go and buy a low level mysticism thing so I can do some soul trapping. I can't believe we get to go from Baldur's Gate 3 into Starfield. We as RPG gamers are blessed. Praise Stendar. It's gonna be some really fun playthroughs. Wait, whose basement? Some guy's basement. Oops. Don't want that house. That'd be weird to have a, a manhole into the sewer in your basement. Ooh. How do I get out of here? Sunken sewers. Well, uh, again, I might be a little, have a little bit of copium, but I have a feeling with Microsoft's backing that Starfield will be probably their least buggy game to date. And it might work really well. Uh, yeah, it's probably just a little bit of copium, but I think it, they got like, big people behind them make, trying to make this game good because it's going to be the biggest game of the year from that team. Activate gate. We'll see though. We'll see. South tunnel. Southwest tunnel. I smite all the crabs. <laughs> now, where do I get out of the sewers? I can't find a way out of these damn sewers. Ooh, chest. Hello there. Come on now. There we go. 
17 gold. Wow, thank you. Okay, no exit over here. Let's try the other side. Did you have to buy Skyrim Special Edition on release? No, it was a free update if you had it on PC. The Anniversary Edition had some extra stuff that you could pay for. It's just like a bunch of a DLC pack. And literally nothing from the Anniversary Edition was felt like worth paying for. It was all kind of like little stuff that didn't really matter much. More crabs. So many of them. I'm gonna have all the crab meat after this. Okay, how do I get out of here? Oh, over encumbered, did they recast? He's burden. Lockpick. I know I'm just trying to get out of the damn sewers, but it, it just keeps going on and on. I just want to be free. I don't remember the sewers being this windy and turny. Okay, the. I think the gate's back here. Yeah, right there. I hear the goblins behind there, so let's save. Yeah, it was cool that the console version got some mod support. Unfortunately, they're, you're limited by the power of the console, so... You won't put, put too many intensive mods on it, but you can change some stuff. Amanus Electus' basement. How do I just get out of here without going through the, someone's basement? That's locked anyways. Try the right. That way is locked. Let's go back the other way. Nope, it's raising. Other way. Can I just fast travel out of here? <laughs> that might. Oh, they'll let me fast travel. Thank God. <laughs> no longer stuck. <laughs> Never mind. I spoke too soon. The. I am apparently trapped in a hell of sewers and will never be able to escape. The only time the game ever crashes is when um, we're trying to get out of... We're trying to go from one loading screen to the exterior zone. Probably like once every two to three hours, roughly. Combat with someone. That is a bug that has been in the engine since Morrowind is getting stuck in combat. It's amazing how some bugs like transfer through the whole game series.
Probably uh, Sky Starfield will have some sort of combat stuck bug as well. Oh, crabs. Journal, world map. Yay! <laughs> okay, we're out of the sewers. The endless sewers of hell. Whoops. Oh, we crashed, so it did reset the price already. All right, let's go ahead and go to the Archmage's lab. What is it, Associate? Hello. I hope I can help. I have all the Mysterium Xarxes. The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn. Supposedly, if it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. To find their secret shrine to Merun's Dagon, you'll need to study the four volumes of Maincar Cameron's commentaries. It is a fairly common practice of these kinds of esoteric cults to put hidden messages within their sacred writings. In effect, simply by finding their way to the shrine, prospective members have already passed the first test on the road to enlightenment. You've piqued my curiosity about this puzzle. I will think on it myself and let you know if I have any ideas. Check back with me tomorrow after I've given this matter some thought. Okay, I'll keep that in, in mind. I'll Hello, keep studying the first two volumes of the commentaries. Who knows? I might turn up something. Are before you running you graphic do. mod? Yes, it, that's why it looks a lot better than you probably remember. Rip. Let's see, chat. Uh, give me a piece of paper. Piece of paper needs something to write with. How do I not have a pen? I apparently don't have a pen. Well, let's let's make a note. I'll write on this computer. We'll see. G R E E N E M P E R O R Green Emperor W A Y Way W H E R E Where T O W E R Where Tower T O U C E E S touches M I D D A Y S U N Green Emperor Way where Tower touches midday sun. Hi there. Tower touches Bernardo midday sun. The best defense knows Green Emperor Way. What is Green Emperor Way? City front, Elven Gardens, Imperial City Arena, Imperial Prison Arena, Palace, 
Arboretum, waterfront. Probably in the garden, maybe? Wait a minute. There's another note in here. If you take all the other ones, you get T W I T C H space P R I M E. Space G A M I N G. Twitch Prime Gaming. What? What could that be? Prime gaming? I don't know what that could mean. Okay, I need to go back to the market district and sell stuff. My inventory is very full right now. Very, very full. It's a red herring, probably. I'm only asking for a single coin. Um, let's go sell to you for, wait, I have a few things to sell to you. Fighting chance. It's my pleasure. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Okay, go ahead and sell. Sell. Mithril gauntlets. Whoop. Mithril gauntlets. An excellent bargain. I'll sell that orca shield. The coins. Gold bowl. Gold goblets. The nugget. Paintbrush. Silver bowl. Silver base. Thank you for your patronage. Thank you. Perhaps you need new armor, a weapon. I have a large selection. I would like to both. sell to you the unofficial patch and the Shivering Eyes unofficial patch. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. They're great. You'll love them. You too. My immersion, there were zero dollars. Let's go sell at the general merchant as well. <laughs> I don't, I don't think uh, the patch will still work. It'll be fine. May I help you? Only quality goods for sale. I would like to sell to you. that please a fine transaction resist disease I don't think I'll need that fortify blunt no fire shield no bring the north oh that, that one might you be useful drive later. a hard bargain let's sell all these damn potions I got so many of them Oh, alchemy. Always the big money maker in this game. An excellent bargain. What if I magicka? No, I'll take the gold. Severing, cure poison, sorcery. Restore fatigue. You've made a good bit of gold. Thank You've you. You got a great deal. That's a. F that seems a fair price. It's because it is a fair price. You can take the first one here. All right, that gives us a lot more to work with. Another satisfied cup. I think we what can... What can I interest you in? I don't 
think we need the katana and the shield anymore. We're using the two-handed for now. It gives us a lot more weight. About 30 pounds if we don't do it. Did I mod this? Yes. Take care. Let's use the mod pack. Um, the last seed. Potion stonks on the rise. Of course they are. I crashed the potion market in this game every time. Oh wait, you had a quest. May I help you? Find about Thorin here. He is dirty. Plain and simple. I don't trust him at all. Won't even come to the merchant meetings and sets his prices so low. He undercuts everyone. If you want to give me a hand, go speak with Jensine at her good as new merchandise store. She can clue you in and maybe offer some coin. Huh. Thornier, all right. Take care. Go double check. Sounds like something sus is going on. The patch stops working, it's gonna crash soon. <laughs> I hope not. Or I'm gonna be in big trouble. Oh, discount spells. Let me see if I can find a... Uh... I need an apprentice level soul trap. Hi there. I want... Wait a minute. This is in the right place. I need discount spells, please. Speak. Jewelry. Discount spells, I want to say, is around the corner. Feed bag, main ingredient. Ste oh, discount spells is behind me. I need some cheap spells. Has Dan played this game before? Yes, we played a lot of times. It's, a, it's such a classic too. I've played it. I've replayed it many times as well. It's fun just to make a new build each time. I try to limit myself to only being a powerful fighter, wizard, and thief at the same time. I hope I can help. Good spells. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Um, no. Mysticism. Minor life detection. I could take that for an upgrade. Another satisfied customer. Goodbye. You see? What is my current mysticism level at? Seventeen, that's pretty low. What is it? Just love one here, don't mind me. If we can get this twenty five and cast my spell, I think. Gotta save and cast. This is how you level up spells in Oblivion. You just cast them again and again and again. Whee! It's fun! Good afternoon. Okay, one more hour. Going up pretty fast. We just gotta get to 25, then I can soul trap, I think.
One more. Uh-oh. Loading time. Go ahead and save as a backup. Yay, you now cast uh, apprentice level mysticism spells. Hell yeah. Magic. Aha, yes. It's castable now. Perfect. Cast one on guard, they won't like that. They will be very upset with that. Oh, okay. Uh, Greenway. Let's wait 12. Over 12 hours. So I think we want the, the uh, garden district. I know this might not be the funniest thing to do, but it's still very chill and enjoyable watching you uh, enjoy oblivion while I do chores or play games. That's Sweet. awesome, Narun. Well, thank you so much for watching. That's what our stream's all about, just us chilling and having fun with good games. I'm super excited for Baldur's Gate 3. Anyone else in the chat getting ready for that game? Have you decided what class you're going to play? I'm still like, I don't know. There's too many options. I don't think this is the right place. Talos District. Might be the Talos District. Remember it's a place with a bunch of gravestones. It's been a long time, but I remember gravestones. Hail good citizen. How can I be a Already pick just waiting for release to discover everything? Same was it, same. Oblivion, why? <laughs> God. Every time. <laughs> Is this a legendary cheater, Kavach? No, we actually went back to Kavach in this playthrough and saved the whole city without even opening the console. It was a glorious battle. So I have been redeemed. I still have nightmares about being when you were 12 and you accidentally overwrit a 100, 100, 100 hour character with another character's save. I was forever scared and scarred and now have multiple saves all the time. Same, like, I've crashed in so many Elder Scrolls games that now I have a compulsion to save all the time. What is it, citizen? Just in case. I was like, mm, did I save? Or maybe I should save. Maybe I should save again. Did I save? I should probably save. Let's just save again. I haven't saved in a while. Let's go ahead and save. What is it, citizen? Speak. Speak. You have my ear, citizen. Temple District. Jebra District has the uh, graves in it. I'm so one hungry one. I could eat a phosphor. It's, it's you, the hero of Kavach. This is truly an honor. It is. It is I, the hero of Kavach. This is the temple of the uh, Great Temple. Where the dragon fires are lit. They're unfortunately empty right now. Temple the one. Greetings, Imperial. The dragon fire is supposed to be lit right there, but unfortunately they are not. Yes. Goodbye. Farewell.
what district has the Green Emperor Way? City Isle. It's one of these damn places. I'll take those mushrooms, though. Hail, good citizen. Hello. I think it might be the Arboretum. If this one has the gravestones, I think it's the one. No, it's beautiful though. I don't think this is what we want either. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm fantastic. Eight fly amantia caps. Hell yeah. Okay, save. Maybe it's in the middle district. Arena, market district. I think it's in the palace. <laughs> oh, oblivion. When you go through too many loading screens, the game's just like, Argh! That's why I save all the time. I want to say Green Emperor Way is because the Emperor is near the palace. So let us go into the palace. Ah, yeah, this is it. Okay. So our clue was Green Emperor Way. Where tower touches midday sun. It's a rainy day, unfortunately, so we need to wait 24 hours. I need I need sunshine. Give me sunshine. Give me sunshine. Okay, we have sunshine. Now, where the tower touches the midday sun. Okay, the sun's on that side, so the shadow. Currently 1136, we've got to wait a little while. Tomb of Prince. Wait a minute, that's the sun. That symbol right there. It's almost noon. Dan is a good, oh, there it is. I followed the clues hidden in the four volumes written by Mankar Cameron to a gravestone, Green Emperor Way. At noon, the map of Cyrodiil appeared on the gravestone with the location of Mythic Dawn Shrine marked on it. I need to find my way into the shrine and locate the Amulet of Kings. Are you telling me that no one ever noticed the giant spray-painted neon red sign right there? <laughs> no one at all was ever in here at midday and noticed that? Because that is bright. That is bright as hell. Yeah, the Mythic Dawn is part of the main quest. They're a cult worshiping um, Merun's Dagon. 
that have assassinated the emperor and have stole the name of the kings and now our realm is vulnerable to oblivion and Merun's Dagon is invading uh, Tamriel. All of it, like everywhere, not just the Imperial City, like Morrowind and Skyrim, and they're all having these portals open up everywhere and he's invading. But one thing that's kind of strange in Oblivion is no one seems to make a big fuss about it outside of Kavach. Like, see, she's just having a good old time. Herminia Sinna, amateur scholar of the ancient elves, dabbler in the arcane arts. How can I help you? Um, goodbye, I guess. Bye. Bye. So now we know where to go. It's a place called Lake Araris Caverns to the north of Chadenal. That's where we need to go next. Now we need to head out of the city and go that way. Not their problem. Yeah, I can, I can understand that. Let's go back out to this shrine. Wait a minute. Yep, that shrine. And then we will head over to Chaden Hall. Hello, Ashley Hearts Pop Tarts. All right, let's go ahead and. Get in our horse and travel to Jaden Hall. Hold on, I gotta deal with some more mud crabs. Got him. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I wonder why only Mayrune's Dagon decided to take advantage of the vulnerability. Shouldn't the rest be more destructive princes also want to invade? Yeah, but they only they ha they were a small team, so they can only really make one Oblivion realm. And the one that they made, you know, wasn't all that great. Which they dedicated to, so if they made more than one, they'd be dividing the resources even more, you know? But it's not to say that they didn't invade, because a lot of the Daedric Princes, one, don't really care about Mundus very much. They're doing their own thing. There's a lot of there a lot of them are just fighting each other. A lot of them are you know A lot of them are also more secretive. Like they may have invaded, but subtly. They don't like send armies in, they just send a few people in to like disturb things uh, you know like they're very sneaky also um molag ball did invade um tamriel before and he got his ass kicked so he didn't want to do it again he learned his lesson the first time so molag ball was like you know i'm not gonna invade again Stupid humans. Well, Dagon, it, Dagon, Dagon is the god of destruction, so he doesn't really learn. He just destroys. He just wants to obliterate everything. You know, he just, he's just very impulsive. Just because you're a Daedric God doesn't mean that you're smart. The I sense goblins. I'm gonna be gobbling on some evil. Oops, okay. I need to fill my soul gems. That guy looks very dead. Ow. That's why. Dead Marauder. 
chest has 27 gold in it. Got him. Is there nothing? Oh, there's a passage here to the company billets. No, don't, don't, don't rest 24 hours. One, one is enough. Let's see what's down here. Yeah, Dagon, um, by invading, he he really left a lasting, massive scar on the Empire. Because during um, the Oblivion Crisis, the Imperial Army retreated back to Cyrodiil to help fight um, the attack at the Imperial City. So they abandoned all the outer provinces, which really pissed all of them off. And then... The different problems that started um, rebelling. That's why in Skyrim, they want to, half of them want to be independent because they don't like the Empire anymore for abandoning them during the Oblivion Crisis. And the Thalmor, um, who's always been conniving and evil and very strategic, saw that the Empire was weak and decided to attack them when they were like people were rebelling and stuff. So Skyrim um, takes place when there's kind of like a stalemate between the, the Thalmor and the Empire. They're kind of like both fighting and both doing Cold War stuff. And then half of Skyrim wants to invade uh, to stay with the Empire. Half doesn't. And most of that is from is the uh, imp the Thalmor playing um, with both sides from behind the scenes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Steel dagger. Uh -oh. ah. Take that. Got him. Lock pick. Oh, another one. Paladin is very strong nowadays. Yep. Is the Paladin providing the goblins a chance to redeem themselves by serving as magic items? Yes. If their soul must be tainted with evil, we'll at least use it to help smite evil by imbuing them into our weapons and gear. So they will be forced to redeem themselves. Ah! Oh god, there's so many! Oh! The Paladin runs! <laughs> Alright, uh, we need to restore health and do our frost damage po poison. Boom! Gotcha. Tactical retreat. Aha. Paladin related to Uther the Lightbringer. 
No, I would never be related to someone that dies to evil. Okay. Goblins have been smited. Well, some of them. I hear more. Oh, the crabs are above me. They gotta find the crabs. You never know. I used a single poison uh, type potion of oblivion because I didn't realize you applied it to your weapon. Thought it was wire. They wanted me to pickpocket and place poisons as a mob killing mechanic. I I can't remember in, in oblivion if you um plant a poison in someone's pocket. Does that kill them? I believe that does it in Skyrim. I can't remember about Oblivion. Pickpocketing poison. Oh, just poisoned apples. Okay. I remember now. Uh-oh. Great evil! Restore fatigue potion. What the hell? Oh god! God damn! Stop it! You stupid magic! Fight dirty. Lesser staff of ruin. Disintegrate weapon. Ooh, that's terrible. Open chest. Uh, lock pick. I'll take the gold items too. Silver cups, okay. I know goblin mages have some really nasty spells they cast. Now that is 10 pounds. That's one for 43, it's not bad. I think I can take it. Okay, saving. Are there, I hear someone else. There was also a door that was locked. So if we go left. There's a key somewhere. Yeah, getting chameleon to 100% means that you won the game. You can attack everything, but nothing can attack you back. You won. Congrats. You are... No one will ever be able to attack you because they can't see you, but you can attack them all. You get 100% chameleon. And there's absolutely no challenge left. Hmm. I think I explored this room over here. 20 and gold. out of nowhere on me. Goblin chief. Skull. Rat meat. Sure, I'll take it. Wait a minute, I hear someone shouting. That's not a goblin. I wonder who the hell that is. I heard someone shouting. This ends here. Open chest. Guess I'll have to pick the door on that lock. The lock on that door. 
don't see any other way to get through here. No, nope, right there. Lockup key. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and save. I don't know what terror is waiting behind that door. Oh, God! Ah! Take that! No soul gem large enough to capture the soul. Okay. Who is that? Okay, you can stay back in there. <laughs> Need a little bit of health. Yeah, Morrowind had some, like, absolutely broken spell stuff that you could make. It was at hilarious, the things that you could come up with on that one. Uh-oh. What are you? Rotter Battle Mage! And get smited! Still curious, dagger. All right, not bad. Was she fighting the goblins? Gold in a lockpick, we like that. This dungeon has been vanquished. Chat, we did it. Evil is dead. This dungeon has been cleansed. Now we party. Wait a minute, other way. Actually, how do I get back out of here? I need to get back up there. Okay, this looks this looks good. Through here. Okay, yeah, this is the right way. Spellcrafting was really fun. I hope they bring it back in the next game. In some form or another. Even if it's just, like, modifying existing spells. It would be fun to, like... You take the spells you already have and you can, like, add modifiers to them or something. That would be fun. That way it's a little more balanced. Like make, like take your fireball spell and make it, I don't know, have like an extra da damage over time effect or something. Uh, I don't think so, Anthony. Let's go back. Thank you, Todd. It just works. Go back up. Yeah, there's lots of balanced, cool uh, crafting system they could steal. And I hope they bring back stats. I think the attributes, if those should come back. But maybe in a different way. I like having, like, strength and, you know, that kind of things. Because if they bring back stats, they could put stats on gear in addition to skills. Could make um, stats really interesting. There's so many cool things that they could bring back. All right, chat, do we want to go to Chaden Hall?
Chaten Hall, I think, is one of the most beautiful cities. Save. Off the coast of Brazil in the top corner of the ocean near the small island. Oh, thank you, Anthony. We'll take a look at that. Uh oh, we have bandits! Oh, yeah, come on. Taste my holy wrath. Bad kitty. You are a bad kitty. Just warming up you. pieces. Oh, yeah. Get smoted. Very full. Once again, I have killed so much evil. It's been a good day. Love everything about this game, how it looks, the story, but could never get into it. It's my niece's favorite. She gave another try. Well, you know, not every game is for everybody. Like, I'm... I'm not a real big fan of football, but some people really love football. Just because, you know, you don't like it doesn't mean it's not good. It's okay to not like something. It's like flavors of ice cream. There's all kinds of flavors of ice cream. Some people will like vanilla. Some will like chocolate. Some like both. Some people hey, like neither. Sisters. And they're all right because this is your opinion. Alien ruin over there. Say that about pizza? Yeah, pizza toppings are the same thing. Like, oh, Minotaur! Don't kill my horse! Oh, God. Oh, he's tough. Weapon's almost broken. Got him. I like that sexy pose you died in, though. Hey. Saving. All right. Uh, Minotaurs only show up if you get to a certain level. So if someone hasn't leveled up a lot, you won't see certain monsters until you get higher level. Like in the beginning, you're only going to see wolves in the wilderness. Maybe a boar once in a while. And these guys. Two with the hyper chat says, is this Morrowind? Technically, this is Daggerfall because Daggerfall has all the zones in it. But Morrowind, if you're curious, that this mountain range right here is the edge, is the back edge of Skyrim, where you start the game right on the edge of the map, and then the rest of the Skyrim is all past that. This is the the mountain range that divides Morrowind, uh, Cyrodiil, and Skyrim. Then if you go over that mountain, and then you look that direction, you'll see the the volcano mountain in the distance there. So Morrowind is over that way, but once you get into Skyrim, you can see it.
Every time I cross the border, though, into Mor Skyrim, I keep getting caught and then ended up on a cart. I don't know what what's happening there. Something weird. Ginseng. Wait, I hear one. Yep, noon root. Ooh, another noon root. I need ten of those for that one quest. Uh oh. Whoop. And Morrowind is actually much bigger than what you see in the third game because in the third game they only show you the island of Morrowind that's around the mountain. Um, but if you outside of that island you play the game on, there's a whole um, a whole uh, part of the mainland that's also Morrowind. Where there's cities like Necrom and some others that are like all on the, the edge there. And the Clockwork City, I believe, is somewhere over there. Yeah, the latest expansion in Elder Scrolls Online actually um, is in that area. Um, that continent, that place right below um, the place you play in Morrowind. Yeah, you, Elder Scrolls Online doesn't quite get, you know, sizes right for everything, but it's all like a flowing work in progress anyways. It's all messed up. It's all like made up. So some places will be bigger or smaller than they are like an actually like in a map. Just like Cyrodiil in Oblivion is way smaller than it actually is in like the lore. Cities don't have only 30 people then, for example. Oh god, bandit! Damn it, bandit! You die! Show me what you Hey! That's my move! My shield spells are strong. Die, you summon a ghost? Die. die, damn you! You die. Die! Yeah, I think we got him. Get smoked. Two lockpicks. Ooh. One good thing about Nair Duels is they have lockpicks. Like bandits, they got you know the stuff that we need sometimes to get into places. You know, it would not be fun living in an RPG because the roads are absolutely filled to the brim with bandits and monsters and demons and stuff. Absolutely insane. Uh, let's go to the grocery store and pick up some, you know, chicken for dinner tonight. You got your sword to fight off the bandits and the demons? Oh, yes, Mom. My weapon is almost broken, so I need to get, I gotta repair it. Yeah, you can kill most of the characters in this game, and then they will just be dead. I believe they have a system to, like, replace people. I've never tried it, but I, I, I think they have a system where if an NPC is dead, 
they will make another one to replace them. I think. Like, there's shops and stuff that if the shop owner gets killed, that another NPC will become the shop owner. How goes it? Go ahead and save, and before we go through the door. Jaden Hall is one of my favorite NPCs. What adventures await us here in the beautiful city of Chaden Hall? You'll have to find out in the next video. Thank you for like, commenting, and subscribing. Ooh.